Now that we've gotten a little bit of practice with a definite integral and some of its properties, I know we still haven't talked a ton about evaluating them yet beyond using areas on a graph or our calculator, but that's coming. I want to introduce you to what's called the average value of a function. And please note, this is not average rate of change. I find the average of a function. So this all comes down to what kind of data we're dealing with. With things like your grades, when you're asked to find an average grade, you just add up your grades and divide by how many you are. Well, that we can do that because it's discrete. There's a finite number of data points. So you're able to add them up and divide by how many there are. But if I have continuous data, which is common with something like, say, if I'm pumping gasoline uh, or dealing with liquid in general, it's not discrete, it's continuous. Um, taking temperature is another one. So if I want to find average temperature, how do I add up an, a an infinite number of data points? Because to be continuous, that means I have an infinite number. And then divide, how do I divide by how many there are? So we kind of still take the same idea. We just have to tweak it a bit. But in my mind, how I remember it is this idea of I add up all of the function values and then divide by how many there are. Well, the definite integral is a summation of an infinite number of things. So if I do the integral of the function, this adds up all of the function values. So even though there's an infinite number of them, the definite integral can handle that. And then the 1 over b minus a, since I can't really divide by infinity, serves the purpose of divide by how many function values there are. Again, I'm using quotes because that's not exactly what it's doing, but it's a nice way of remembering the way it's done. So if I want to find the average value when there's an infinite number of points, I take the definite integral of the function divided by b minus a. So if I want the average value of g of x, well, in case, just because back here, please note av stands for average value, and then the parentheses are the like function notation I say of. So this literally says average value of f my average value of g is going to be, I need to add all of the function values up, so I need the integral from 0 to 3 of g of x, but then divide by how many there are, which in this case is going to be the 3 minus 0. Well, we haven't learned yet how to evaluate that definite integral uh, without using area or the calculator. So if we just type that in my calculator, I get that definite integral is 3 divided by 3. My average value is 1.